what's up YouTube, it's your boy Game for Daniel, aka Big D, and just want to do a quick fixing tech video, this is part 2 of the PS4 Slim that I previously worked on, if you guys want to check out that video, link it is the, in the description, check it out before you watch this one, but if you don't want to, whatever, you know, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let's go ahead and hop right into this. Alright, so in my previous episode, this PS4 has fell out of a window. And it basically damaged the old hard drive. Which is right here, this is the old hard drive. So, I went and got a replacement hard drive, stuck the new hard drive in there, and the system actually boots up, where the other hard drive, it didn't even boot up at all. So, it was like a hard drive failure. So I replaced the hard drive and now I'm getting to the screen where I can finally reinstall a system software since it is a new hard drive. So you gotta have your controller plugged in to the PS4. You gotta reinstall system software. And then it's gonna ask connect a USB storage device that contains an update file for reinstallation for version 9.03 or later you can download the update file for reinstallation for from playstation.com so basically we got to get this update off their website put it on a flash drive put the flash drive in the ps4 and then hit ok because if you don't you will get this error code the usb storage device is not connected you will get that error code so let's go ahead and get on the website and I'll show you what to do from there. So I got my wife's little notebook laptop, which uh, by the way, shout out to our band, The Dark Tenacious. Go subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We got an awesome band channel. We appreciate the support. We're gonna use the wife's right, laptop. So take your uh, flash drive, plug it in the computer. Obviously you heard it went through. Right there. All right, now we need to go to uh, Sony PlayStation website. So we gotta load up the website. And what you wanna do is search in PlayStation PS4 system software update. All right. All right, so we're on the website. You scroll down and then obviously it says the latest system software update for the PS4 is this date. PS4 console update file, click on that, because we need the file. As you see right there, it's popping it up on the top right, so it's going to be downloading it. Right onto the flash drive. Or actually, I don't even think it's downloading it to the flash drive. I think it's downloading it on the computer. But once that's done though, then we'll just drag and drop it onto the flash drive. Once it's done downloading on the laptop, we'll just drag and drop it onto the flash drive. And the reason why this does this is basically your PS4 gets stuck in a certain reboot where it can't reboot the new software update or it can't install the new update. So it's like a way of helping it. You basically can put it on a flash drive, which is awesome. Like. Because if you couldn't do that, like, then your PS4 is pretty much, like, bricked. No. You know what I mean? Like, you can't do anything with it. So, that is awesome. You had this idea and other option to put it on a flash drive and then install it. It's basically giving the PS4 a little bit of help of finding. Alright, and then we just click on show and folder. As you see right there, it's a little blurry there's like a lot of reflection going on here but right there it is before we copy anything into the flash drive now just for a heads up you are gonna have to format this flash drive before we go any further so we have to format it we got to go to format over here and you want to make sure it says fat 32 that is what it needs to be as so once it is under FAT32 and not these other ones, we go ahead and start the format.
And it's basically just gonna, yep, format complete. All right. All right, so now we go back into the flash drive. All right, so we go back into the flash drive and yes, this is touch screen as well. All right, so now you see right here, it's all empty. So now we just gotta go in to our flash drive. We gotta create a folder, create a new folder. Then now this is important, very important. So make sure you put your cap locks on. It's gonna be all caps, PS4. So it should say that, PS4, all caps. All right, once you do that, click on that folder you made, then make another folder within the folder. And this one is gonna be all caps again, update. Click on that folder. Now we just uh, grab that um, PS4 update file and we just drag and drop it right into that folder. Or you can do it the easy way and just copy and paste it. Either way. So we go back in, click on the PS4, click on the update, and then just paste it right in there. And then it's going to copy it. And you know it's working if your flash drive is lighting all up then you know it's copying it right into it all right so now our copying is done to our flash drive so we pull it out and we go head back to ps4 we go ahead and plug in the flash drive in here it's plugged in oh and one more thing if your system doesn't automatically go to safe mode um, there is another way of getting your system into safe mode and all you do is Once your ps4 is completely turned off You just hold this power button until it beeps once you keep holding it and keep holding it until you hear that second beep Once you hear that second beep you just let go and Then it'll put you right in the safe mode For you to be able to reinstall the system software and the reason I have to do all this is because I put a whole new hard drive in the PS4. Therefore, I have to reinstall the system software. And the update on the flash drive just basically helps the PS4 find the update. All right, so we click on reinstall. Connect the USB, which it's in there. And you just hit OK. And you know it's working when it's starting to blink and everything. So just give that like a couple minutes. All right, and once it goes through, basically it's letting you know the PS4 will initialize all users and all data will be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? Obviously you're gonna hit yes because there's no other way of going around this, especially in my case. So I'm gonna hit yes. And then it's doing its thing. It's going to it's going to reboot this PS4. It's going to put all the latest system update and it's basically going to fix this PS4 that once did not work with a failure hard drive. Now it has a newer hard drive and the system will be back up running again. So it's rebooting. But this time now it's pulling up the system software update and it's going to do its update for the system. As you see right there, it's booting it right up. And it's basically going to be like factory reset. So it's basically going to be like as if you bought it brand new. So everything that was on this PS4 is now all gone, but it fixed it and it's back up running again because what, with the previous hard drive that it had and it failed, basically you could not, you couldn't even turn it on. Like that's how bad it was. So now, at least now it's fixed despite everything being gone. It's now fixed and it's back up running again 
and can now be playing games again. So, you know, you just got to go through the steps of setting it all back up and everything. So, yeah. Well, guys, I hope that got, helped you out big time, especially when it comes down to hard drive failures. They suck big time. But um, this was my neighbor's daughter's system. Uh, you can check out his channel. He does YouTube at Crick Diggers. Check out his YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to him as well. Um, it was his daughter's PS4, and they offered me to fix it. So, you know, that's basically the two parts of fixing it. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope this helped you out big time. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.